Hi, I'm Susan Craig, Director of the Iowa City Public Library, and I want to welcome you all here today. It's very fitting that we're honoring our good friend, Ellen Buchanan, during Local History Month. I told Ellen I wasn't going to cry or even choke up, but I'm not sure I'll be able to get through this. So you ignore me so she can ignore me if I get a little emotional here. Um, very fitting that we honor Ellen during Local History Month as part of our Irving Weber Days activities. Through her two interview series, Ellen has, done, <coughs> Ellen has done for the library, Tell Me Your Story, and One of a Kind, Ellen has created an enduring historical legacy. Tell Me Your Story programs began in 1989, and the series includes 40 programs. The One of a Kind series began in 1993 and includes 85 programs with 88 individuals. The next two programs for the series will be taped next week, so don't think this has ended. <laughs> Ellen keeps threatening, but she comes through every year. In 1992, Midwest Living Magazine awarded the Tell Me Your Story series one of their Historic Preservation Awards. In 1995, the Johnson County Historical Society honored Ellen Buchanan with the 1995 Irving Weber Award for distinguished contributions to the research writing, interpretation, or preservation of Johnson County history. All of our programs are available on the library channel. They're available for checkout through our nonfiction video collection on the second floor. And some of the programs are in the latest of media, downloadable digital video, through our OverDrive service, which is available off of our website. I want to recognize the people who Ellen has interviewed on in her programs uh, who are here today, and I'm going to go through. You don't have to stand up. Just raise your hand. Um, Marvin Bell in the back of the room there. Sam Becker. Sally Mathis Hartwig. Dr. James Lowe. Archie Green. Jay Holstein, Doris and Bill Prusel, <laughs> Dick and Joyce Summerwell, Jim Clifton, Sally Lindbergh, Christine Grant, Chug Wilson, George Walker, Wally Chapel. And here's a name I can't read. Oh, Bump Elliot. Bump? <laughs> Who wrote this name down here? I'm going, well, he's with a woman named Barb. <laughs> Susan Boyd. Lolly Eggers. Carol Spaziani. Earl Murphy. John and Sandra Hudson. Daryl Wyrick. John Colleton, and Father Bob Holzhammer, and Hani al -Khadi. Anybody else who's been interviewed by Alan who I missed? Uh, Dr. Ponsetti. Dr. Ponsetti? Welcome, and? Okay. Herb Wilson, that's right. Thank you all for joining us today. Ellen's contributions include, she couldn't do it by herself, and most recently she has been ably assisted in her research by A.K. Tra, who has contributed many, many hours of research to each program. So I want to say thanks to A.K. Tra. Oh. <laughs> so, A.K., raise your hand. Ellen's contributions to the library include much more than these two interview series that we're focusing on today. Here to speak to some of Ellen's other contributions and explain the history of the technology support the library has needed to make these series possible is Lolly Eggers, director of the Iowa City Public Library from 1974 to 1994.
We are here today <clears throat> to honor a great body of work by a great friend of the library. Although it started on my watch, my participation, I'm afraid, was limited to saying yes and to accepting kudos on behalf of the library for providing such a valuable, informative, and entertaining series of programs. But today I want to make two points. One, Ellen has Dutch m done much more for this library besides these delightful and historically valuable series of interviews. And two, through these 20 years, there has been a steady stream of library employees and volunteers who have actually filmed, edited, and produced these 220 interviews. So first, Ellen. Ellen has been a library board member and president. In fact, in her years on the library board, 18, 1985 to 1991, Oh, they overlap with the beginning years of Tell Me, uh, Tell Me Your Story. While president of the board in 1991, she also produced 12 Tell Me Your Story interviews, and not one to ever shirk a duty I remember she had that she had taken on. I remember she presided at a board meeting that year after driving back to Iowa City from somewhere while ill and hardly able to talk, but she ran the meeting. For many years, Ellen has been a favorite guest storyteller in the children's room. She has a variety of styles in costume with Bruce the Goose and several others. Her presentations are always creative and dynamic. Ellen has great rapport with children. They simply love her. <clears throat> and of course, she and John have been major financial contributors to the library on many occasions and through their efforts have helped to identify other important contributors. The second point I want to make is that the 1981 edition of this building opened with a TV studio, equipment, and staff partially financed by the city's first cable company, Hawkeye Cablevision. They provided a library channel and four others, the city, in fact the city has two, school, university, and public access, the, the latter known now as PATV, was housed in the library in those early years. Much of this came through the leadership and negotiating skills of a former library staff member, Connie Kif Tiffany, now <clears throat> Connie Cor Corcoran. In the last 28 years, many library staff and volunteers have developed the skills to operate a TV channel. By the time Ellen was interested in starting her series of interviews, the library had an experienced staff to advise and support her and to provide the finished interview. While these are available for checkout in the DVD format, I guess Susan covered this, uh, <clears throat> most of us became familiar with their quality and interesting content by watching them regularly on Channel 12. Channel 10, I don't know where 12 came from. There are not many public libraries in the U.S. who have their own TV channel. I tried to find out, and nobody seems to know, although some have access through the city or state facilities. Just how unusual this has become was made clear to me just the other day when on the phone with a salesman for a satellite cable service. I said, no, I, I want my local channels, which you can't provide. Oh, yes, we can. He ticked off CBS, ABC, NBC. No, I said, I mean our public access channels, um, our library, the city, school system, the university, and general public each have and operate a channel, public access TV. We've been doing this for over 25 years, and our local cable company helps support it. His reply, as he decided I was not a promising prospect, <laughs> public access TV, I've never heard the term. <laughs> So let us be thankful for the facilities we have and enjoy in the library and at other public institutions in Iowa City that has allowed us to produce the great work of Ellen Buchanan, our honoree today. More than a third of the subjects of Ellen's always compelling interviews are no longer with us. Just think of the increasing value of this archive of Iowa citizens as the years go by. Thank you.